got some thin cleats and you know, I try to put them up to the little burner on the side. It just does nothing. So they're like little blocks right now, blocks of ice. But it's all good. Have you played in any kind of game like that before? I know there's not a lot of snow and fire by, I don't imagine. Is yeah. Um, Have you played in a game quite like that as far as weather elements? No, I mean, th this is the only place that I've ever played in like that. And, you know, going back to practice, like last year, uh, we, we practiced in this con these conditions a few times. And, you know, coach said it before the game. Um, if you want to win in the North Atlantic, you better train in the North Atlantic. And if you better win, if you want to win in Laramie, you better train in Laramie. So, you know, we we were kind of used to this, and we weathered the storm and found a way to get it done. Big difference on that game-winning drive. I mean, you had some success, but like I said, it's kind of been consistent all game. But what was the difference on the on the on the winning drive? Now we just wanted it, and we came out with that first play, and Drew had that uh, diving catch, and I think that kind of inspired everybody. And that's why he's a captain. And you know, that's why I love that man so much. He, he's going to lay it all on the line for, for this team. Um, and I, I really think that was the catalyst to that drive. You know, we put our noses down. We went to work. We, they knew exactly what we were going to do. And, you know, we still found a way to go and do it. Well, Kellen's running, too, during in that, not that drive, and even to, to wrap the game up. Uh, I mean, fantastic, you know. He, he not the starter coming into the game, but he's ready when his name's called. He took care of the football. He... he you know, made some yards after the contact, and uh, you know I couldn't be more proud of that kid right there because he's he's been through a lot. You know, whether it be injuries or, or depth chart movement movement and stuff like that. Um, so uh, I'm sure he's feeling great, and you know this whole team's feeling pretty good right now. Josh, last year you said boots are for cowboys. That's right. Still the, uh, same Still the motto, and uh, I'll say it till I die. Why till I die? All right. So. <laughs> what about your defensive effort? And just I mean, they kind of kept you in it, kept slowing them down, gave up some yards. But what do you think of the defense? I mean, they're, they're playing extremely well, uh, like they have been for the last, you know, eight, nine weeks. You know, they, they've, they've changed who they are this season. You know, going back to last season, you know, it's, it's a completely different team, a completely different feel. Um, you know, after that fumble that I had, and, you know, I, w I wasn't down on myself um, because I know our defense is going to go out there. And, you know, they made some plays and stopped them on fourth. And, you know, that allowed us to go on that last, last game-winning drive. So, um, you know, whenever we're in a tough position, they're going to come, they're going to pull three for us. I mean, in these games like this, when it gets wet, normally you kind of expect the ground, uh, the ground game to be pretty important. You guys kind of struggled early on with that. Was, were you guys confident that you would finally be able to, you know, get that going? Yeah, and uh, whether it be with, you know, running me and trying to get an extra blocker or, you know, just being uh, inspired and, you know, blocking for that extra half a second to, to spring the running backs open and, you know, running through tackles like Callen and Trey were doing. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said uh, after the game, it's a young team, but we're mature. You know, this this is only going to add to our our repertoire. And uh, playing these conditions isn't tough. Playing a game like this, you know, uh, or isn't easy, I should say. But um, you know, this is going to help us out a lot. Did you feel like did you want some of those carries down the stretch there on that on that last drive? Oh yeah, I, I wanted redemption. I know I know I fumbled and put ourselves in a bad situation, but. Um, you know, I'm thankful that Coach Bowl and Coach Vegan, you know, still trusted me. And, um, you know, our line and our tight ends, you know, made some really good holes. And Nico Evans is going in there and sticking his nose in and blocking, you know, some of their biggest dudes. So uh, it was a total team effort, you know, and that's that's what it's going to take from here on out. What does it mean? I mean, you hoisted the boot for another time. Your bowl elves went on. I know there's more goals, but those goals are still in, in, intact as far as trying to win a, a division title. Just what does it all mean on, on in a game like well, we know every game from here on out is a must win if we want to, you know, make a conference championship. Um, you know, we're going to need some help, but, you know, we, we're going to take care of our, our business over here and uh, hopefully we get some help, you know, and that's going to be our mindset every week that we're going in and uh, it's, it's, it's a do or die game. And you know, that's the feeling that we have and um, we're going to instill, you know, throughout these uh, next few weeks in practice. Josh, on that touchdown drive, you know, you kind of went in deep in the red zone, got tackled, got up and started John and uh, some of those guys from from Colorado State. When you're in the moment and then all of a sudden you turn around, jack up the crowd, and, and they kind of feed off your energy, deep in the fourth in a snowstorm game like this, I mean, how much does that get you guys excited when you hear the crowd get you know, pumped up off of a play like that? I mean, it, it makes us extremely excited. And um, I hope people on the sideline, our teammates on the sideline, saw me get up. And, um, you know, I love this. I love this game. I love everything about it. I love, you know, getting hit, you know, being in the snow and having to wipe yourself off every time you get up. Um, so in that moment, you know, I was just trying to, to share my love of this game and of this, you know, of this team with everybody in the stadium. And, um, you know, we got the, the feeling right back with everybody. Now on the topic of, of love for the game, I mean, 
Where does this game rank? Where does a, a game like this, a win like this, rank in your all-time? Oh, it's 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 up there. If it's not number one, it's number two. And uh, you know, for these conditions, and you know, this is the first time I've ever actually played in snow. You know, I I definitely think this is going to be a game talked about for a long time here. Um, it was a special one to be a part of. Just how much does the snow affect the passing game? You know, I, I didn't feel too bad with it. Um, I know we probably didn't throw the ball too much in the second half. But I felt like when we did, um, I was able to, to control the ball and put it where, you know, I felt like it needed to be. Um, but it is what it is. Thank you, guys.